As most of you guys know, I'm not a religious person at all, so I was a little surprised when I recently had a kind of spiritual vision. I was in Arby's at the time. Now, I love Arby's. Uh, they say that what the meat inside their sandwiches is roast beef. I have no proof otherwise. I mean, it may not look like other roast beef I've seen, but I have no proof, n no no indication that they're not telling the truth. And it wouldn't matter if I did because whatever's in there, I like it and I'm going to eat it. So I'm sitting there and I had taken one bite of my roast beef sandwich when suddenly there was a sublime light just above my head. It was almost cloud-like. It was magical, mystical. And then I heard this, this very soothing voice and it spoke to me and it said, Curtis, I know that you haven't led a pristine life. Maybe the things you've done haven't been always virtuous. But I'm here right now to tell you that if you can you can show me in the with the simplest the simplest of moves of devotion, of wanting to do the right things, if you can do that for me right now, I will guarantee you an everlasting life of nothing but purity, love and happiness and i was like well that sounds like a good deal and then the voice said all i need you to do is get up from that roast beef sandwich and walk away well of course i immediately punched the vision and then i found out that it was just you know it's just visions aren't real physical objects so i was trying to punch whoever was in that light trying to get me to leave my sandwich and i swung right through it and i hit the the glass because I was sitting I was sitting next to one of the windows and it really hurt my knuckles but it was okay because I still had my my left hand to finish eating my sandwich I guess the moral of this story is don't bother me when I'm eating Arby's I don't give a shit what your offer is okay now let's go to a family guy try not to laugh this, this one this one is a compilation called Raging Lois it's from a channel called Mr. Mr. Klaus Heisler? Nah, I'm not. I had a joke to make about that name, but I'm not going to do it because because I don't want to have insta demonetization anyway. Fight the ass kicking housewife. Come one, come all. She floats like a butterfly and stings like when I pee. Peter, I am. Not <laughs> I don't, I don't think that was Muhammad Ali's exact quote. <laughs> Floats like a butterfly and stings when I pee. Like when I pee, that's good. Show attraction. And <laughs> not anymore. Isn't that when... Me like it bouncy. Me like it bouncy. So, Lois used to be Pebbles from the Flintstones. <laughs> that was really good. Uh, that Was that the episode? I know one time... Lois became a boxer, right? And at speak, and there's Lucy. There you go. Right move. Pull the ball away. I don't know why Charlie Brown never did that. Little bitch always pulling that football out. Starting now, you two are gonna love each other. Now stay that way. Oh. It's gonna be weird to potty. <laughs> Uh, this is going to be a rough one. Chris, Chris is always thinking of the important things, though. I mean, he's he's, he's got a solid point there. Uh, uh, you just got to move to Alabama and nobody will notice. Lois, look at the garbage those damn leafers dumped on our lawn. <laughs> New York Post, New York Magazine, the New York Mets. Oh. You know, I'm so oh. Isn't that true? I think the, aren't the Mets having an abysmal start to the season, too? Probably they usually do. <laughs> that was strangely arousing. <laughs> Hello, nine one one. It's Quagmire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in a window this time. I was gonna, I was gonna say his his next word's gotta be. Yeah, I did it again. <laughs> wow, look at them run. Wait a second, Brian. Oh, this is good. An idea. And what would that idea be? Ah, oh, that drunken clam. Why couldn't we go someplace fancy, like the Olive Garden? Oh, the... The Olive Garden, that's fine dining just like Arby's. 
So, you know, I, I'm not throwing no stones. Red sticks. Me I lucky, do like the red lucky, sticks. Me lucky. You're a big girl now. Stop it. Oh, hold on, Lois. Excuse you me. You don't have to York. stop it. I think you're in my seat, and I had sex with your mother last night. Peter, are you crazy? What did you say? Oh, about the sheep or about my plow and your father's wife? <laughs> I'm plowing your father's wife. What if they're not? What if they're divorced? <laughs> he might. He might have just admitted to banging his mother and his stepmother. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Excuse me. She just shoves them away. Is your refrigerator running? Because if it is, it probably runs like you. Very homosexually. What? How? Oh, you wanna dance? <laughs> Get suck, Yankee suck, Nick suck. <laughs> what, is, what is with the New York stuff? <laughs> ah, so this has nothing to do with boxing. She went full martial arts here. She's a ninja. <laughs> I want to be ninja. <laughs> cool. Go, go, oh, it's gripped on socks. <laughs> I was just going to say, put it, put him in the little glass thing. Yep, see ya. Bye. <laughs> I, I don't know this episode at all. I don't know how Lewis got these magical ninja powers, but I, I kind of want to know now. That's right. Go back where you came from, you bastards. <laughs> No paper towels. Ah! Hey, I was gonna pick at that. Shut your fat mouth! You all think Christmas just happened? Holy shit! I, I like when Lois comes unhinged. <laughs> you think all this goodwill just falls from the freaking sky? Well, it doesn't. It falls out of my holly jolly butt. So you can cook your own damn turkey. <laughs> It falls out of my holly jolly butt's a great line. Oh, this is good shit this time. Wrap your own damn presents and hey, while you're at it, you can all ride a one horse open sleigh to hell. Ah! <laughs> oh, here's a paper towel. Oh, there they are. See? Oh, it's all, oh, it was all for nothing, Lois. Come on back. It's fine now. <laughs> that seemed a bit of an extreme reaction. You can get more paper towels at 7-Eleven, even. Oh, there's some magic Frosty, it's about to get bad. Merry Christmas. Easy, lady. You want some of this? Hell is her problem. Fro oh, Frosty. <laughs> Frosty, let it go, bro. <laughs> let it go. It's just going to get worse for you, Frosty, dude. Frosty, let it ah, 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 what the I was correct. <laughs> This has been one of the best collections we've seen in quite a while. Kill Star. It was horrible, Rupert. It was like a that nightmare. was pretty good. Lois came at me like a wild animal. I had no way to defend myself. Mother, I'm sorry I went against your wishes. I don't know if we saw this part, but I think we. Oh, I think we saw where Lois is all jacked up like this Self. before. Mother, I'm sorry I went against your wishes. <laughs> Oh. I'm sorry I misbehaved, Mother. I'm sorry I misbehaved. I love you, Mommy Dearest. Mommy Dearest. <laughs> That's just called tough love, right? Yeah, it's normal. Hey, I'm home. I got groceries. Yikes. You what? Yeah, I was driving past there and we were out of some stuff, so I... You listen to me, you son of a bitch. I've got one thing in this lifetime. One thing! Grocery shopping? <laughs> you always say I never do anything around here. Yeah, I like saying that this more than awesome. I like you doing things. <laughs> I like saying that more than I like you doing things. There's some great lines in here. Wow, Lois losing her shit yeah, is I fun. Yeah, I got the rest from the car. We're... Chris, run! You were right. She didn't appreciate it. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, get out of there, Chris. Too late. Ow! That's right. I do groceries. <laughs> Meg! Chris! Uh, this is awesome. What the f is this? I've never seen it before. I don't know. Stewie, she's got your time machine. But don't drag that down the stairs or... Uh-oh. <laughs> Bender! <laughs> Thank God. And that's it for Meg. <laughs>
<laughs> ah, perfectly timed, Lois. Perfectly timed. Everything's back to normal. <laughs> Two. Oh. <Gross. laughs> Did he say gross? Everything's back to normal. <laughs> Two. Gross. Gross. <laughs> Ah, I got no chance of not laughing at these. All your science projects in Stewie's closet. Mom, we didn't Stop arguing and get rid of it. And give me those glasses. They're cluttering up your face. I need them to. <laughs> Do your glasses are cluttering up your face? Huh, okay. The sea. They're not bringing me joy. You realize there are four of us and one of her. If we rushed her all at once... That's not gonna work. She's clearly developed the strength of the insane. What did you say, Chris? Uh, nothing, I'm sorry. Chris, I will not have your comic strip anger cluttering up my house. It's <laughs> comic strip anger. That, that happens to me sometimes. I get that thing up there. That's what it is. Comic strip anger. I thought it was something else Negative, that we don't want to talk about. And it ruins about. my joy. Get it out of here. Now you've done it. You've made me 1930s work whistle angry. <laughs> now that's some quality comic strip anger right there. Shut up, Meg. Well, I didn't say anything. You just did. Your voice, it's cluttering up my space. Get out. But get out of my house. You know, Lois, one could argue that you're... Oh, oh, is Brian going to get the shit kicked out of him? Oh, now now I'm invested. Let's go. Prize clutter. Nice try, dirtbag. Leave. Figured it was going to happen anyway. Might as well go out on my terms. Ah, uh, disappointment. Wow, that was that was a great collection, <laughs> Raging Lois. That one was a lot of fun. We got to find some more collections along those lines, you know, with with a specific theme like that. Because if they're anything like this, that's that's some great stuff. Yeah, I like watching Lois go batshit. Who would have thought? <laughs>